So today I'm going to be doing a coolant flush on my Ford Fiesta EcoBoost and this procedure I'll be showing you is going to be similar on all makes and models of cars. So the first thing you want to do is raise the car off the ground so I've used some car ramps for this. I've also put a jack stand under the car as a safety measure and I've chocked the back wheels off as well. So you want to begin by unscrewing the cap to the expansion tank. Make sure before you do this the car has had an adequate time to cool down. Then I get underneath the car and there's a clip that needs to be squeezed together and that will allow you to move the clip off the union outlet and remove the hose. So let's do that now, so just grab a pair of pliers, squeeze the clip and remove it from the union outlet. And this will allow us to now remove the hose. So just wiggle the hose off. And you can see here it's quite a messy job and just allow that fluid to drain and if we take a look at the condition of the coolant it does look like it could do with refreshing so once the coolant has drained off reinstall the hose and then secure the clip back onto the union outlet Next I'm going to dispose off the coolant, so I've got an empty container here and let me pop a funnel in and then we can just drain the fluid into the empty container and I can then dispose of this at a later date. I'm also going to take a sample every time I drain the system so we can take a look later on at the condition of the fluid. So now that we've drained it we're going to then top it up with deionized water. So let's just unscrew the cap, pop the top. So the reason why I'm using deionized water is it doesn't have any minerals in it. Therefore it won't leave any unwanted deposits or corrosion in the system. For the first couple of flushes it might be better just using normal water as you are draining it out of the bottom of the radiator hose anyway. Once you've topped up the expansion tank with water you can then go ahead and turn the engine on. And I'm going to use some radiator flush here to help clean the system out. And I pour about half the contents of the bottle into the expansion tank. I then increase the engine speed to about 2,500 revs for about 5 minutes. And then I let it idle for another 5 minutes. You also want to make sure while you've got the engine running you turn the heater dials up to the maximum settings. This will allow the fluid to flush through the heater matrix as well. This allows all the fluid to circulate and flush through the system. Then you want to leave the car for an adequate amount of time to cool down before repeating this process again. So now we're just repeating the exact same steps again until the fluid comes out clear. So remove the clip, allow the fluid to drain, Pop the hose back on, reinstall the clip and then again refill the system with deionized water. Once it's filled to the maximum mark then restart the engine. Ensure your heater controls are back on full and then again let the engine heat up for about 10 minutes and let all that fluid circulate through the system. And you just keep repeating these basic steps until you end up with crystal clear water coming out of the bottom of the radiator hose. So here I'm just going to give you a visual representation of what that looks like. So on the left hand side was our first flush, then we had our second flush, I did my third flush, the fourth one it come out crystal clear, and the fifth cup is the coolant we're going to be refilling the system with. So before I start refilling the system, on this Fiesta there's actually a bleeder valve right there and that just allows us to purge any air out of the system so go ahead and unscrew that then I get a piece of plastic hose and pop it onto the bleeder valve and then the other end of the hose I'll submerge into some coolant now the coolant I've chose today is this ready mix Preston coolant so just pop your funnel into the expansion tank and what we want to do here is slowly pour the coolant into the expansion tank and you can actually see some of the air being expelled out of the bleeder valve through the hose and into the fluid. 
Once you've topped off the expansion tank, you can then go ahead and turn the car on. Now what I'm doing is just going around and squeezing any hoses that are part of the coolant system and this should help release any trapped air in the system. And as the engine is running you'll find that the fluid level will probably drop once or twice so just keep a keen eye on it and keep topping up when required. Once all the air has been purged out of the system you can remove the hose from the bottle and the bleeder valve. So there you can see the fluid pouring out the bleeder valve which means all the air has been expelled. So go ahead and pop the cap back on. Now once you've done that all you've got to do is pop the cap back onto the expansion tank. And I'd recommend going for a quick drive in the car and then rechecking the minimum and maximum mark on the expansion tank. Now once you've done this job there is a way of actually seeing what temperature your engine and coolant is running at in detail. So with the engine off press and hold down the trip meter reset button then switch and turn the engine on and keep that button pressed in until the words test come up on the display. You can then take your finger off the button and you can keep pressing the trip meter to go through the various different options and functions available. And this is basically just a diagnostic menu which allows a Ford technician or any garage to do detailed analysis on the car. So here we go, here's the information we're looking for and you can clearly see that the engine temperature is currently sat at 89 degrees Celsius. And this is about what I'd expect for an engine that's been running for a while now. And one other thing you can do is buy an antifreeze tester. This just allows you to inspect the condition of your fluid. And so you can just do this periodically just to make sure your antifreeze is in good condition. And that's about it really. Quite a simple little job to do. Hopefully the video has been useful to someone out there. Um, just want to say thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later guys.